Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out a 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from Tawei Cell. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what they have. Alright, here's what you get when you open the box. You get your uh, post bolts and it looks like a couple of uh, post bolt covers. You get a small user's manual and you get the battery. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the specifics of this battery. Uh, first of all, the dimensions. It's a little over 13 inches long. It is 8.66 inches in height, and it is 6.77 inches deep. And it weighs a little over 22 and a half pounds. Now it's a 100 amp hour battery, so it is expected that it would have a 100 amp BMS. That means that you can charge it and discharge it at a max of 100 amps. Now it does say that it can power up to 200 amps for five seconds, which we will be testing in a little bit. It does come with M8 bolts and a nylon strap, so it's easy to carry. It is a LiPo 4 battery, so you can expect between four and 8,000 charge cycles from this one battery. Um, you can connect four of these in parallel to make a 12 volt 400 amp hour bank and you can connect those for four times to make a 48 volt 400 amp hour bank and another thing about this battery is that it does have bluetooth there's actually a little sticker right here that has the bluetooth id so we're going to be checking that out also in a little bit okay when you first get your battery it should be shipped to you at around 50 percent and i like to think that's about uh about 13 1 volts to 13 2 volts. So that's the first thing you should check is the voltage of the battery when you receive it. All right, and the voltage of this battery is 13.21, so that is perfect. The next thing you wanna do with your brand new battery is charge it all the way up to 100% and then do a discharge test. Uh, that's highly recommended even though you don't have to do it, but I'm gonna go ahead and charge this up to 100% do a discharge test just to make sure that we are getting the 100 amp hours that we paid for. All right, well, the capacity test just ended for this T-Way Cell 12 volt 100 amp hour battery and look at the results. We're looking at 110.7 amp hours. That equates to 1304.24 watt hours. So that is 10% higher than what they uh, are marketing this battery as. So that is great. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and charge this battery back up and we will do a high amperage test. All right, I think now is the perfect time for us to kind of look at the Bluetooth feature of this battery. What you'll wanna do is you'll want to find Smart BMS in your Play Store or Apple Store. I use an Android, so I, I found it on my Play Store. Uh, unfortunately, in the documentation, it really doesn't say much about uh, what kind of app you should use. The only way that I found it is I looked at the pictures in the advertisement and I was like, hey, I know that app. So look up Smart BMS. And once you get it installed, you'll want to look for the, uh, the code on top of your battery where it says Bluetooth ID. And you'll see it in the Bluetooth connection uh, startup screen. You'll click on it and it will bring you to this screen right here. Um, as you can see, we are charging up the battery right now. It's at 89.2%. We're using a 20 amp charger, so you can see that the current is actually 19.4 amps going into the battery. Uh, the voltage of the battery is 13.6, and it tells you the minimum and maximum voltages of each cell. And if you scroll down, it does show you the, the, the cells that are in the battery, the blue one being the lowest voltage and the red one being the highest voltage. It also gives you information like the serial number, the software version, and the SN code. So this app was actually pretty easy to use and it gives you all of your basic information plus your cell information and your temperature information, which is pretty nice. All right, now it is time for my favorite test, the high amperage test. Let me show you what I got going on behind me. All right, what we have is the Tilway Cell 12 volt battery, and it has a voltmeter connected to it, so it's at 13.31 volts. And we actually have an amp clamp connected to it, which shows a uh, one amp of draw. And that one amp is going into this 12 volt, 5,000 watt MX Moon Free inverter, which will be powering a 200 watt heater, a 500 watt heater, 
an 1100 watt griddler, and a new wave induction cooktop that can go up to 1300 watts. What we're gonna do is we're gonna power the two heaters and the induction cooktop for at uh, like 600 watts. That should give us about 115 amps and we're gonna power it for about five minutes. After that, we're gonna see about the 200 amp threshold because it says it can power 200 amps for five seconds. So what we'll be doing is cranking everything up um, and that will give us way over 200 amps and we'll see what happens. So let's go ahead and start. We'll turn on the heater. Turn on this heater. And turn our induction cooktop on 600 watts, medium high, start. All right, you can see that that is actually pulling 127. It's going down. And the voltage has gone down to 12.33, which is uh, very respectable. And you can see that the amperage, it goes down, it should go down to about 116, 117. So let's go ahead and start. And we will see if this keeps running for five minutes. Okay, well it has been five minutes and 25 seconds. We've been pulling 122 amps so far, and our voltage is still at 12.24. So this battery is doing great. And these terminals are not even hot. So the battery is running flawlessly so far. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and push it to its limit, and hopefully we see it shut off. So let's go ahead and first get our new wave, put it on max sear, and 1300 watts. And that will boost the amperage. Oh, wow, look at that. It boosted the amperage only to about 160 before it shut off. And you can see that the voltage of the battery is now down to 2.6 volts, which means that the BMS has turned off. Okay, well, I'm actually a little surprised in a good and bad way because I was expecting to see, I was expecting to see 200 amps. Um, but I am actually really happy that it did shut off. So the protection is there for high amperage protection. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and wake this battery back up and I'm gonna try to do it so I can get it up to 200 amps before it shuts off, but we'll see. All right, I just woke the battery back up by using my bench top power supply with 13.7 uh, volts and just touched the terminals and it woke the BMS right back up. So now we're sitting at 13.23 and our amperage is pretty much at zero because I turned my inverter off. Let's go ahead and turn that on. All right, and my amps are back to about um, an amp. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna turn the new wave on at 1300 watts and at the same time, I'm gonna turn on this griddler and we're gonna see if I can, and we're gonna see if I can get 200 amps out of this. So here we, Go. Uh, okay, I'm gonna press this, turn this on, but I'm gonna have you seeing, watching this at the same time. So here I go, turn on uh, New Wave, induction cooktop. Oh, look at that. All right, well, we saw 180 amps that time. So um, again, uh, you know, it does say 200 amps. I can't quite get it up there but I do like the fact that the protection is there. All right, well, I've been reading over the manual and uh, it doesn't say anything about cold temperature charging protection. All it says is that the working temperature range for charging is 32 degrees Fahrenheit to 122 degrees Fahrenheit, which is zero degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius. But I wanna test it anyway. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it in my deep freezer for 24 hours and then we're just gonna try and charge it. If it charges, then it doesn't have low temperature charging protection. All right, well this two-way cell 12 volt battery has been in my deep freezer for the last 24 hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a charger on it to see what happens. Now I'm using the Latime 12 volt 20 amp charger and you can see right now that the green light is blinking. That means it's on standby. 
When the light is a solid green, that means that the battery is fully charged. Uh, when it is charging, it will be a solid red. And if there's a fault in the unit, it will start blinking red. Now I'm telling you that because what's going to happen is if this does have cold temperature charging protection, it will go from a blinking green to a solid red for about one to two seconds and then it will switch over to a solid green. And that's kind of saying that it thinks the battery is fully charged because the BMS in the battery has told it to shut off. So let's go ahead and put the charger on and see what happens. All right, here we go. Perfect. That is exactly what should happen if your battery has cold temperature charging protection and it is below the temperature that it should be. All right, so what do I think of the Toei Cell 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery? Well, this thing has passed all the tests that I threw at it. Uh, I think it gave us 110 uh, amp hours, which is 10% more than what it says it's going to give us. When it came to the over amperage test, uh, it ran 120 amps for over five minutes with no problem whatsoever. And then when I pushed up that amperage to see what would happen when we got to 200, um, it shut off immediately. Now, it does say in the documentation that it can do a 200 amp surge for, uh, for up to five seconds, I think. Uh, but I didn't even see that 200 amps, which in all honesty, is not that big of a deal for me because I would rather have my battery shut off due to it being a safety feature rather than it running at 200 or 300 amps when it really shouldn't be. So I don't see that as a problem whatsoever. And then on top of all that, it does have cold temperature charging protection. So if you have any questions about the Toei Cell 12 volt 100 amp lithium iron phosphate battery, uh, please leave them in the comments. I'll go ahead and leave a link to this item in my description if you want to look further into it. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Bye bye. Bye. bye.